Eh, good morning, buenos días. Perfecto. Well, uh, substantial areas of fabled lands have been abandoned in Castilla-La Mancha region due to the scarce economic rentability. The certification and climatic change impacts on these low productive lands with poor soils and scarce precipitation are unpredictable. Under this scenario, afforestation with fast growing species, such as Paulonia longata, can be an effective approach to environmental protection and in mitigating global warming. The objective was uh, to estimate biomass production from uh, Paulonia plantation in a semi arid lands and therefore cultivation uh, treatments, two levels of those of irrigation and fertilization. The estimation of biomass in Paulonia plantis permit us to understand their potential to provide biomass in low productive environments with unfertile soils and scarce precipitations. Well, the question and climate, you said, must carry out the Albacete, Castilla Mancha region. The climate is called semi arid, type in scale in public in public classification. Uh, the, mean, the mean annual precipitation is around uh, 355 millimeters. In the study area uh, for the experiment for the research, we face a homogeneous experimental area of those one hectare in an abandoned farming land. In this experimental area, we installed four plots and 12 subplots, representing the combination of two principal factors for treatment, replicated by three. The plantation was established with a plant density of uh, 1,666 trees per hectare. Separating trees, three by two meters. Uh, the soil in the study area is a calcium solonza, following FAO classification. It's a calcium dominated saline soil. This soil has limited potential for cultivation. It's easy for resin. Uh, concerning the experimental design, we analyzed two factors irrigation and fertilization with two levels. Do I choose experiment? The principal factor are uh, irrigation, drift irrigation in the growing season, uh, with the levels low dose of irrigation, 1,000 liters per tree, and high dose of irrigation with uh, 2,000 liters per tree. And the second factor is fertilization with unfertilized trees and fertilization fertilization with 0.4 kilograms per tree of NPK. We combine four treatments representing the combination of factor levels. Uh, this is line represent uh, of experimental design with the plot as subplot. Uh, for the marginal plantation, by the way, this were planted in late spring. This will put up at the beginning of second spring. In the rest of eating, even a bitter stem, and leaving one single sprout per tree. It's well done to get a rapid roadway in the summer, the following season. Paulonia sprout were also pruned, and the bubble ground biomass of spread sprout was measured in the autumn. This is the plant that is in June. In this fish growing season, uh, is the value of first establishment. This is the state of planting in October. The fish growing season. Uh, they grow with a of acetate. This is the very state in March. And at the beginning of the second growing season, Paulonia trees 
Where could be stronger, is a stronger stay to reality. Finally, it's the Latin state in the same of September, at the end of the logging season, our logging trees reach age about two meters. Well, for, for Bayman's estimation, we apply an undestructive method for buoy failing and the metric relationship between basal diameter and biomass in sandberg sprout. We collect biomass data from Tripitulus Tau, a sportive man. Sandberg Tau with several in foliage that would understand the fresh waste of, of component when measured in the field as a sample of this component with waste and overlay at 70 degrees. All this way we convert it into biomass values. Well, for this element, uh, we fit the logarithmic allometric model where the y is our own biomass in kilograms per mass per pascal, and x is basal stem diameter in centimeters. Parameters A and B were estimated using ordinary less square ratio. And biomass accumulation at the standard level was estimated applying a geometric equation to the rest of the crowd. Uh, for that analysis, a two-way analog was used to detect the significant effect of factors and their interaction on biomass and crowd. And the least significant difference was used to compare treatment means. Main result. Uh, both irrigation and fertilization significantly affecting on biomass of Paulonia restaurant. The interaction between the principal factors was not significant. Greater response in biomass growth was found in the sprout subjected to three doses of irrigation uh, independently of fertilization. And biomass production was only affected by fertilization in the low dose of irrigation. For example, biomass accumulation, the worst treatment was the low dose of irrigation without fertilization. And the best treatment reached uh, 4,950 kilograms per hectare for the high dose of irrigation with fertilization. Generally, discussion and conclusions, our results suggest that irrigation is the more important factor to improve biomass production in a short run, two years. Irrigation with at least 2,000 liters per day in the growing season could be used for the civicultural management of Paulonia to obtain around 5,000 5, kilograms per hectare in the far sprout. This is an important way of production as a lower than other previous research developed in more, in more productive areas. Our data also show that Paulonia can strangle the sprout and every age even in low nutrient supplement if a water water available exist. And finally, an adequate irrigation may allow this species to be more stabilized, even in even in poor nutrient soils and, and low fiber, high fiber regions thus contributing to the use and conservation of semi-arid fauna. An optimal consideration we consider necessary to fully investigate the biomass production with higher dose of irrigation and fertilization in these low productive lands to increase biomass production. Thank you. Thank you.